Welcome to our channel and thank you for joining us on this virtual tour of Alaska, the largest state in the United States. Discovery of Alaska Alaska has a long and rich history, with evidence of human habitation dating back thousands of years. However, it was not until the 18th century that Alaska was discovered by Europeans, when Russian explorers began charting the coasts and establishing settlements in the region. Some of the most notable explorers of Alaska include Vitus Bering, a Danish navigator who explored the Bering Strait and the Aleutian Islands in the early 18th century, and James Cook, a British navigator who explored the coast of Alaska in 1778. Both of these explorers contributed significantly to the knowledge of the region and the mapping of its coasts. In addition to the explorers, Russian traders and missionaries also played a significant role in the colonization of Alaska. The Russian and American Company, state-sponsored trading, and colonization company was granted a monopoly over the region and established a number of settlements, including Sitka, which became the capital of Russian America. It is important to note that Alaska was not an empty land when it was discovered by the Russians. It was inhabited by numerous indigenous peoples, who have a long and rich history of their own. The indigenous peoples of Alaska, including the Inuit, Aleut, Tlingit, and Yupik, have played a crucial role in the history and culture of the region, and their traditions and way of life continue to influence Alaska today. Russian Presence in Alaska for more than a hundred years, Alaska was a colony of Russia, and it became an important part of the Russian Empire. The Russian and American Company, state-sponsored trading, and colonization company was responsible for the administration of the region, and it developed a number of industries and activities in Alaska. Fur trading was one of the main industries in Russian America, and it was the main reason for the colonization of the region. The Russian and American Company, as well as other traders, established a number of fur trading posts in Alaska, and they conducted trade with the indigenous peoples, exchanging European goods for furs, such as seals, otter, and beaver. Fishing was another important industry in Russian America, and it remains a major contributor to the economy of Alaska today. The Russians established a number of fishing stations in the region, and they developed techniques and technologies that are still in use today. Agriculture was also attempted in Russian America, but it was not very successful due to the harsh climate, and the short growing season. However, the Russians did introduce a number of plants and animals to the region, including potatoes, wheat, and horses which have had a lasting impact on the landscape and the way of life of the people of Alaska. In addition to the economic and technological changes brought by the Russian colonization, there were also social and cultural changes. The Russian Orthodox Church, which was supported by the state, played a significant role in the colonization of Alaska, and it established a number of churches and missions in the region. The arrival of the Russians also led to the mixing of cultures, as the indigenous peoples and the Russian colonists interacted and intermarried. Sale of Alaska to the United States The sale of Alaska to the United States was the result of a combination of economic, political, and strategic factors. Russia had been facing financial difficulties for several years, and it needed to find a way to raise funds. In addition, Russia was also facing pressure from other powers, such as the United Kingdom and the United States, which had established a strong presence in the Pacific Northwest and were expanding their influence in the region. In 1867, U.S. Secretary of State William Seward negotiated the Alaska Purchase with the Russian Minister to the United States, Eduard de Stokel. The deal was signed on March 30, 1867, and it was ratified by the U.S. Senate on April 9, 1867. According to the terms of the agreement, Russia sold Alaska to the United States for $7.2 million, or about two cents per acre. The sale of Alaska was met with skepticism and ridicule at the time, and it was widely referred to as Seward's folly, after the U.S. Secretary of State negotiated it. Many people believed that Alaska was a frozen wasteland with no value and that the United States had paid too much for it. However, 
it soon became apparent that Alaska had significant natural resources, including oil, timber, and minerals, which have contributed significantly to the U.S. economy. The transition from Russian to American rule was relatively smooth, and it was completed in October 1867, when a ceremony was held in Sitka to transfer the sovereignty of the territory. The United States established a military government in Alaska, and it appointed a governor to administer the territory. In the following years, the United States established a number of federal agencies and infrastructure projects in Alaska, including the establishment of a postal service, the construction of roads and telegraph lines, and the establishment of schools and hospitals. Current Status of Alaska Today, Alaska is the largest state in the United States, with an area more than twice the size of Texas. It is a land of rugged beauty, with mountains, forests, rivers, and glaciers, and it is home to a diverse range of flora and fauna. Alaska is also a land of natural resources, and it is a major contributor to the U.S. and global economies. Oil is one of the main economic resources of Alaska, and it has played a significant role in the state's history. Alaska has some of the largest oil reserves in the United States, and it is home to the Prada Bay oil field, which is the largest oil field in North America. Oil and gas production in Alaska generates billions of dollars in revenue for the state and the federal government, and it employs thousands of people. Timber is another important resource of Alaska, and it is a major contributor to the state's economy. Alaska has vast forests of spruce, hemlock, and other tree species, and it is a major producer of lumber and other wood products. Alaska also has abundant minerals, including gold, copper, and zinc, and it is a major producer of these minerals. Alaska is also home to a diverse and vibrant population, with more than 730,000 people representing a wide range of cultures and backgrounds. The indigenous peoples of Alaska, including the Inuit, Aleut, Tlingit, and Yupik, continue to play a significant role in the state's identity and history, and their traditions and way of life are an important part of the cultural fabric of Alaska. Alaska faces a number of challenges and issues in the 21st. Why the idea of returning Alaska to Russia is a non-starter. It is extremely unlikely that the United States would consider returning Alaska to Russia. The sale of Alaska to the United States was a historical event that took place more than 150 years ago, and it has been recognized as a legal and valid transfer of sovereignty by both the United States and Russia, as well as the international community. The United States has exercised continuous and exclusive sovereignty over Alaska since the sale, and it has invested significant resources and effort into developing the territory. Alaska has become an integral part of the United States, and it is home to a diverse and vibrant population, with strong ties to the rest of the country. In addition, the political and strategic circumstances that led to the sale of Alaska in 1867 no longer exist, and there is no significant demand or support for the return of Alaska to Russia. It is highly unlikely that the United States would consider such a proposal, and it is even more unlikely that it would be approved by the US Congress or the American people. In summary, it is safe to say that the possibility of Alaska being returned to Russia is extremely remote, and it is not something that is being seriously considered or discussed. We hope you have learned something new and interesting about this fascinating and beautiful state, and we encourage you to watch our channel for more interesting information and insights on a wide range of topics.